What is up, YouTube Universe? Welcome back to the Ice Cave. I'm your host, Iceman here. And before we get into this video, make sure to smash that like button with your ice picks and subscribe. Well, let's get into the video. Today will be Raid Shadows Legends Part 6 of the story mode. Well, we'll get into the video. Here we go. Arriving at the snow-clad moor that sloped down to Felwyn's Gate, the company surveyed the grim scene before them. A multitude of half-starved refugees. Human folk, lizard men, elven. The many peoples of Teleria, all camped in the frozen mud outside the battlements of the Great Gate, now barred. Ogren and Skinwalker guards were denying them entry, telling them to clear off back to their homelands. The company agreed to force their way through and unbar the passage. All right, let's get it, get it. Part one of this stage. All right, let's see who I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with my level 40, my level 30, my level 30, my level 15. Let's get it, get it. You know, that's the God Squad right there going into the story mode. We come in at double speed, but I eventually slow it down because during making content, I think it needs to be slowed down. But for the sake of the game, it's funner to play at two, but I'm realizing for me to comment and all that good stuff, it needs to slow down. So then I decided to do Hellraiser to get that final kill. Then it's a 4v4. I go and I decided to do my favorite thing, Death of Valor. So I get most of them a little past half health, then I go and get a regular attack kill. But before we get more into this gameplay, so how are you all doing today? Tell me in the comment section how your day is going, how your, what your plans are forward for the day, and all that good stuff. Anyways, I get back into it, I do a normal normal death shooting arrow attack, then I go in and take a normal slice attack, and we get done with that. Easy peasy day breezy. We're flying through this because I'm very strong, very powerful. In so far in the story mode, I'm pretty strong. No one's going to be able to take me out. So then I get a nice little crit hit, and I'm happy about that. This ogre, new ogre I got, it's really cool. It's a sign-in. If you sign in for the first seven days that you play, you get this new overpowered ogre. She basically, every time she attacks, she gets health back, which I think is pretty strong and pretty powerful in this game. I do Death of Valor. Get both of them to about half health. She's going to come and get a hit. She's going to clean it up. Boom. Then I get that all of them to get extra crit. I come back and do a normal basic attack from her. Bam. Get 1,600, almost 1,700. Bang, bang. Level 16. Skeet, skeet. Woot, woot. Let's go. So I get my next squad. I'm going to make it to the next stage of the game. There are 18 boards across. I do Death of Valor. So again, once again, I got most of them to more than less than half health. I do a slice attack, get that single kill. Then I do another basic attack, get that 1900. Then I do Hellraiser. And I get a single kill. I was hoping for the double kill, but I didn't. That little chihuahua there is pretty strong. I do a normal basic attack. Everything's good there. I got 10s across instead of 18, so they're a little bit weaker. So I do bam, bam, lightning attack. But my lightning attack was pretty resistant. I didn't get most of them to half health. Then she goes, gets a nice crit, gets that 3,200. Then I do a basic attack. And yeah, so then I do a throwing two knives at them, and that's going good, and I'm happy about that. They come in, do a counter attack. I do death of valor. Get a single kill, but not the double kill. I was kind of disappointed, hoping to get that double kill. Then I go and slice them, and now I'm going back into the boss area. So now it's a 4v3, 14s around. They're all pretty resistant to this character, so I do no damage to them. This one, we're on the same page, so I do basically great damage. I do a nice little crit there. So I'd have to say this game is doing pretty well. I'm not going to lie, the Raid Shadow Legends got me by surprise. I did not anticipate how addicting this game can be. And I play it all the time now. It's like I play it every day. As you can see on YouTube, I record every other, every other day. I have this on a cycle. I play four games and now I'm recording four different games, four different days, putting it out every day. So I'm actually happy. I'm actually really happy that I have I'm able to play different games and make content every day for you guys. So if you what I would like if you guys do appreciate it, just smash the like button. You don't need to subscribe. Just hit that like button for me. Make a comment. Say something about your day, how you like the videos, all that good stuff. But if you do find yourself liking the videos, if you want, you can subscribe because about 72% of my views are not subscribers. It's all random like people doing. I'm glad YouTube is doing their job and sending it to people that don't know me so i'm happy about that thank you youtube thank you raid shadow legends for giving me this opportunity to show what i'm capable of 
And yeah, so let's get back. So I get a single hill. Both of my people are down. I'm a little worried. I was like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen? I get a nice crit there to actually balance the game out. Then I go and get a double hit. Bam. Kill him mostly. Then he throws a fireball. I'm not worried about it because this girl's going to clean it up. Cub, boom, baby. Get that nice crit. There we go. Easy peasy day breezy. Geeky what what. Let's go. All right, cool. Now we're going to move to the next section. Ooh, these Chihuahuas are a little powerful. Level 20s across the board. I decided to do lightning attack. Snap, snap. And she's weak against them, so she doesn't do that much damage. So I'm not happy about that. Then I go over here, get that nice, beautiful 4,000 crit. Finish her off. Then I go, ooh, get lucky, get a second crit. Then I decide to do Hellraiser. Then gets that attack. I like the Hellraiser. As you can tell, the attacks I love, my, my voice gets slightly different and variations of it. So I'm kind of happy about that. Then I do a nice little hit here. Smack! She's getting crits for days. That's exciting. Going to the next area. Crits are so nice. When you see that nice little yellow Death of Valor. Sorry, I love the Death of Valley. But yeah, when you see that nice yellow pop up, you're like, ooh, that's beautiful, beautiful crits. Then I get two kills there. Not a double kill, but I like to say it anyways. Double kill. Then my ogre dies. I'm a little worried because I know going into the boss round, uh, I'm not going to have a fourth, but that's okay. I go and do a basic attack to the Chihuahua. I know that that's not its name, but I love calling them the little Chihuahua. Then I got the uh, overpowered ogre and a regular ogre. I do a basic attack, and it's not going to do pretty much nothing. 900, yeah, you were seeing earlier we were doing 3,000, 4,000. I decided to go with revive, but I was like, nah, let's take it to the walls. Walls to the walls. Then I decided to do a normal basic attack, get a strong hit, not a crit though. Hashtag sad face. I need those crits in my life. Then they do a lava attack. Then they do another lava attack. You do hell razor for their own. And then I almost dead with her. I was supposed to do death of valley. That was not the smartest play. I should have went with death of valley. But I decided to go with the bow and arrows. Which paid off because I got a double kill. With some nice crits. Oh, and I get another crit. Let's go. Do I get a crit? No. Oh, man. But it's almost dead. I die here. It's a 2v1. It's pretty much a 2v0. He has got no health. I come slice him up, get that beautiful $5,000 crit, and we're going to move on to the next station. So then I got was able to get crystals. Those crystals there you saw on the board are people for me to spawn, so I'll be spawning new people soon. I do lightning arrow. Snap, snap. Get weak. I don't know. The, she's weak against those characters for some reason. Then I do a basic attack. Ooh, get that lovely, lovely crit. Love though to see it. Love to see it. And then I do that, then I do Hellraiser. Also, I do do live streams Wednesdays and Fridays from 5 to 7 Pacific Time on NSN Lone Wolf's account. So if you want to see me and Lone Wolf be live, we're always live. We play Diablo, we play 3v3 Freestyle, we play all that good stuff. Also, he is my other partner. If you want to subscribe and see other videos, go to NSN Lone Wolf 1234. He's my co partner. Me and him are making NSN Productions. So pretty soon we'll have just a whole thing of NSN all over the place. Hopefully you'll be there for the ride. I'm the ice cave and his is the lonely cave. It's kind of funny. We have caves. We do our thing, you know. Anyways, let's get back to the gameplay. Nice little shout out for him. Uh, so they kill my ogre. I'm not happy about that. Then I decided to do a basic attack. Boom. Then I decided to do basic attack here. Snap. Kill that little chihuahua. Then I go and get to a basic attack here. Hopefully I get a crit. Yes, I get a beautiful crit. You gotta love them crits. He decides to seppuku. Now it's 19s across the board. Then I do Death of Valley, which does a nice amount of damage. Some of them hurt more than others. Then I do a normal attack. Boom, get that kill. Then I do another basic attack. Snap, get a crit, get that kill. Everything's going well. He does a lava attack. Then he does a lightning attack. We got this in the bag. Easy peasy, day breezy. Do a double snap. Get that beautiful crit. Get a single kill. Then I go in here and do a basic attack. Get my health back up and get that dub. We're moving on to the next round. I have noticed though, my level 15 ogre, I really need to put some more XP or do some XP grinding with him. Because him being at 15 and the rest of them being so high, I've noticed he's kind of weak. <laughs> He does a lot of damage. He does a lot of DPS for how low he is, but his health pool is kind of low and he kind of dies. Have you noticed he's been dying a lot during this story campaign? And I feel if I'm going to continue moving on through this campaign, I'm going to need him to get stronger because right now he's pretty weak and, you know, weak characters aren't going to make it through. I'm going to 
eventually my my three here are going to need i'm going to need that fourth person to actually come through and come clutch and so i'm going to have to level him up and hopefully get him better so we continue going everything's going well so i do death of valor so far this death of valley to these ogres are not really doing much to him then i decide to do a crit attack and then gets the crit and makes all the other players have a chance to do more crits sure enough i do get a crit so i'm happy about that then i do it to double throwing flame knives get a single crit get that kill and i'm moving through then i just do a normal bow attack snap get a single hit then i do a normal basic attack get my health back up snap oh i'm beautiful beautiful crit and then these dreadful freaking ogres that i can't kill with death of valley so it's sad times but then i decided to get a double snap luckily for me i got a double hit then i attack this ogre get a weak hit it's all good though then i come and clean this hit up get another get a beautiful crit there then I do a normal fire attack, finish him off, do a double hit, but I get a crit there as well. This is the boss area, so I'm trying to get it done, get it quick, but these ogres are very persistent and they want to get me killed. I hate them. They're protecting the gate. And they're not letting us go through because they don't want us to go see what the bad guy's up to. So they are protecting with their lives and I'm fighting for my life. Then I do Hellraiser. Then he gets a hit, kills my ogre, which I'm sad about. Then I do a death of valley. Get a single kill, but not a double kill, because it's a weak hit against him. Then I do a normal basic attack and get that kill. We're almost done through the story. We're about halfway through, and we're going to get there eventually, hopefully soon. And then we got these dang chihuahuas. I hate the chihuahuas. Death of valley. Get most of them to half health. Then I kill a fire ogre, kill him. Then I do a basic attack to Chihuahua, kill him. Everything's going smoothly. Then I do Hellraiser, get a single kill. Then I go back and do a normal sniper shot. Snap! I do miss my elf called Sniper. She was in this video before. She was very wonderful, very powerful. But the problem is I got better characters in her. If one day if I can level her up enough to get her back into the God Squad, I will. Because, you know, I love her and miss her. They would always attack her. Somehow she would survive. She was stronger than the knight. And I think she's stronger than this ogre with health pool because they would survive so much more. But the problem is their ogre over here does way more DPS than she does. So that's why she's out of the lineup. It makes me sad because she was my first pool from the game. Besides this character that you automatically get, you get to choose one of the four characters as you see in the first show. When that dragon came out of nowhere and kills us, she gets one-shotted and then it was all good. I fell in love because I was like, I ain't going to let her get one-shotted ever again. So then I, after that, they gave me a crystal. I opened the crystal and I got Sniper, the dark elf called Sniper. And she's been in it. I've been very happy with her. She did very well. The only thing is I got this new ogre and this other new ogre. And both of them together have a good synergy. And they're just way more DPS, more everything. But I miss her in our squad. Well, I get Hellraiser. Almost get that double kill, but I don't. So hopefully if I get more characters and more power things and more level up things, I'll be able to level her up and she'll be back in the squad and baby back in this lineup and you'll be able to see her and cheer her on. But until then, yeah, not going to happen. But then this guy has this magical spell, so I keep hitting him and he doesn't die. Finally, his spell's over, so I come and hit him, finish him off, get that kill. Everything's going well. It's been a little hard, but we're going in. Finally, we made it to the boss round. So now we're going to fight the boss. Tens around. I do Death of Valley. I'm super excited that I finally made it to the boss round. I'm kind of nervous because usually boss bosses are usually strong and so you could lose life. I've yet to die die. I've lost characters, but I've yet to lose all four characters at once. So I'm still undefeated on that aspect. So going into this fight, I'm a little nervous going, oh my goodness, I've been having a hard time with these chihuahuas and these damn fire ogres. Am I going to have enough health pull to fight this big boss? And I'm wondering this. Then, of course, I run into these dang chihuahuas that I was talking about and these damn fire ogres that I'm so weak against. And yeah, so I'm nervous. Are you guys nervous? Hopefully we get come out on top. We won't know until the end. So far I've said I haven't died, but who knows? Maybe I die now for the first time. And then we have to watch this whole long video about me going to the final boss and dying. How ironic. Well, anyways, we'll find out shortly. So I do Death of Valor. 
I do a basic attack, get a crit. I'm already down a person going into before the boss round. I'm a little scared going, oh my gosh, I'm down a character. So it's going to be a 3v3, including a boss. I'm like, oh, wow, that's a huge freaking ogre. It makes me look tiny. Then I do a basic attack to one of the chihuahuas. Then I do a crit damage attack to the, one of the other chihuahuas. Don't get the crit. Ooh, damn, he hits all of us. Takes one, one quarter of all my health. Then I go like that. The chihuahua attacks me. My One of my best characters is down to under half. Oh, shoot. Now I'm down to a quarter left. Oh, my goodness gracious. Then I do a basic attack, kill the chihuahua. Then I do a normal, yeah, get a crit against him. Get him down to a quarter health. And then he goes, oh, no, it's a 2v2. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of scared a little bit. Then I have one more crit attack. Then I decide to revive. Do I get it? Yes, I do. I decide to revive her. She comes back to life and gets an automatic crit to the face. Then I decide to heal her. Give her a heal bonus. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Death of Valor. That Death of Valor takes him almost to about half health. Then I go in and get a slice attack. Get him under half health. Then she goes and dies again. He slices her up. Then I decide to raise all of our attacks. So I increase our attacks. So I have more of a chance. Then I decide to do exploit weakness. Oh, and I get a beautiful crit. Oh, that crit came in clutch. And that helps me get the game. Here comes more story. On the other side. And opened wide the colossal gate to let through the multitude. Amid great acclaim, the company followed the road northward to the Palace of Arabia. But before leaving the gate, a wounded skinwalker seized hold of one of them and growled, See what you do. Not good. We bar gate for reason. None can help them now. Well, we're coming to the end of the video. If you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button with your likes, pick, and subscribe. Well, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Hey, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to stay frosty out there. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay cool. See you on the next one.